we're doing the walkthrough on this 2017 XLR Nitro. Let's get started. All right, we've got your shore cord here. Get you out of service. Plug-in. This is your uh, fuel dispensing, on and off. This is where you load the fuel, like a gas tank pump. This is where you fill the, uh, your tank, just like your vehicle. All right, down here, this is your uh, little holder for your sewer hose. Pretty simple. Jacks. Got your uh, gray tank and your uh, sewer outlets to drain your tanks. Twist off. Twist your hoses on there and good to go. Got the hookup. Got your exterior furnace and your exhaust. Be careful when it gets hot. It Friend yourself. Got your hot water tank. Uh, hot water tank here. This is your pressure relief valve. And if you want to run it on electricity, you got the little button right here, on and off. Make sure uh, before you turn it on, it's full water. You don't want to burn out the burners. All right. Got the front compartment one side, got your fresh water hose there, ladders for your bunks, and your uh, table that you can move around. This is your second sewer hose, if you ever need to, need to use it. Exterior shower, got your fresh water fill connection, that's for your fresh water tank, so if you guys are going to be doing a lot of dry camping, that's where you fill it. This is your city water connection, so if you have a full supply when you're at a campsite, that's where you plug it in, or at your house. This is your uh, black tank sewer flush, so when you're at the site and when you're emptying your black tank, hook up the hose here and it helps it flush. It'll also help uh, rinse off your probe so you get an accurate reading on your monitor panel. Okay, so when you're, uh, th this is your uh, winterization bypass valve for your hot water tank. So when you're ready to winterize it, turn the bypass on, hook up the hose to your uh, antifreeze, and turn this. And this way it's gonna suck the antifreeze from this hose. When you guys are ready from, for, for uh, summarization, just do it the opposite and make sure this valves like this for, to draw water from your fresh water pump. Here. Turn my bag on. Okay, here is your uh, battery disconnect. Battery disconnect is on. Oh, pretty simple. This is your uh, auto leveling for the front compartment here. Up and down to turn it on. There you go, now it's on. Up and down, pretty simple. Auto level, hitch height. This is your storage for your uh, 12 volt battery. And if you do decide to run the solar panels, you have to add extra cables here. Got your two 30 pound propane tanks. Now when it's on, your uh, regulator is going to show green. So when your tank goes, when it drains, it's going to turn red and you can automatically turn it over. Whichever one you want. Here for your generator. Space here. I want for an additional battery down the road. And 
and the other side of the compartment. And you got the lights here for the nose for the front of the trailer. here if you want to have a TV outside. Got your uh, access panel for the front if any work that needs to be done. Alright, and then for the back storage. And if you want to lower the ramp from the outside, insert the key. And unlocks. You will have an option to unlock it from the inside as well. Your stairs on both sides. When you're ready to take it out, make sure you hold it, pull it out right here. Do not do this, always from here. Okay, right here, you got your LP detector in case you have a propane leak. Got all your breakers and fuses. Down here, this is your uh, monitor panel for all the leveling system for the trailer. So, got all the connection the buttons here. Push for home. And you have a bunch of uh, different options on how to's, troubleshooting, and all that. Here, These are, this is your main monitor panel. Right here, you got all for the monitor panel for all your tanks. So gray two, gray one, black, and fresh tank. The battery button here is only really there for you when you're running off your batteries. It's gonna automatically show full when you plug in. Again, again, that's just there for, for running on batteries. Here's your button to start and turn off your generator. How many hours it shows. Now you got your uh, living room lights. This button here is for the fuel pump. This is uh, to automatically cut it off, push up, and then you do the button on the side to turn it on. Step lights, water pump, water heater is here. This is for your propane. The button on the side, like, like I said, was for electricity. Awning lights. Now, your button, this button here is for your awning. It is kind of a windy day today, so we're not going to take it out, but that's how you pick it in and out. Got your buttons here for slide outs. Hear that noise? The slide's all the way out. This button here is for the uh, slide upstairs in the room. Alright. So for this button here is for your TV accent lights. And this button's here for your outside speakers, for the lights on the speakers. This button here is just an open uh, open button. If you want any attachments down the road, you can always wire it in into here. Got all the remotes for your TVs and DVD player. Great, microwave. Different, in the same type as a house. Okay, for your show top, lights up, and when you go to light your uh, oven port, you put the switch on pilot, go underneath, like the little pilot probe right here, 
once it's on, you turn it on and it's going to turn on uh, your oven for you. Got your uh, fridge. So, when you want to run it on auto, have it pushed in. Or if you're running, driving down the road, push it out, it's going to run on gas. You've got your check light here. Whenever that comes on, there's a problem, either low propane, low propane or something wrong with the fridge. Inside your fridge here, you got the uh, temperature adjust. Higher up is cold, lower down, low down is uh, warmer. Got your thermostat here. Auto, high and low settings. Your low and high settings are for your fan. And then for your auto, AC. And then for your furnace, furnace, light on and off. This button right here is for the top bunk light. And then the second button is for the light inside the, the toy part of the trailer. Back to background, and then that's going to be your um, manual for the door. In case your key doesn't work, you can always pull that, and it's going to open the door for you. Got a TV back here in case you want to have a TV in here. Put it up to the cable. Got outlets here for a washer if you need to. So you have the rear lights on the back of the ramp and, and that's for the switch, for those lights. This switch here is for the one light fuel uh, pump light on the, on the left rear of the trailer. And this switch is for the remainder of the lights. This switch here is for the bed that goes up and down. And when the time comes, if you want to bring the top bed down, you want to do the hook, the pins on the top four corners, let it sit on this bed and it'll come right down with the, uh, with the seats. This, button, uh, this control here is for your uh, vent mates, max airs. We can't see my bank here, but... So. That's for those who have the max airs. So, got the TV, DVD, and you got your audio unit. Pretty simple, power button on, off, volume, all your settings, zone A, B, C, and D for the different parts of the speakers on your trailer. Switch here is for the light on top here. Washing. Hot and cold, got the skylight here. And right here in the corner is your toilet. So for the toilet seat, push half down, fills it up with water without opening the, the ball, and then all the way down drains it. And got your front bed here, front bedroom. Lights right here. Front, uh, front vent. And then on and off. Got the little handle right there. That's for your antenna on top. It's a fixed unit, so no up and down. Just side to side and on your bed fold right up for a compartment
And for your uh, wall back here, it also has an access wall back also if you want to mount a TV on the inside.